Happy fall, everyone. I am just putting the cover on this botanical journal, and I decided I'd video it and just let you kind of craft along, see the process, see how I do it. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep it pretty simple because I don't want to bulk up the cover too much just because it's the cover and it's going to see more wear and tear. So I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Anyway, to start out with, I just had this card um, with some butterflies and some print on it. And then I just took a piece of burlap and kind of frayed the edges and inked it up just a hair just to grunge it a little bit. And then I went ahead and sewed that on there. And now, step one, I'm going to glue this onto that cover. And don't be shy about the glue you use when you're gluing something to a cover. <laughs> they get a lot of use. So you're going to want to go ahead and glop it on there pretty good. And then just stick it on. Now this is fabric gluing onto fabric, so this should hold really nice. I'm just going to go ahead and center that. And squish it down. There we go. All right. Here we go. Now I wanted to do a tiny little photo corner up in the corner. Just one of these. I found these on Amazon and they're pretty bendable. They're flimsy so you need to just glue them on really good but they're metal and they're just, they're pretty. I love it. I love, love how they look. Um, so I've been getting a lot of use out of these. I'll link up where I got them on Amazon. I'm in the U.S. though, so it might not work to some of the other countries. But if you're in the U.S., these things are great. And they just add such a neat touch. And I'm sure there's something similar that you can get just about anywhere. So they're just called photo corners. If you look up metal photo corners, you should be able to find something that you're able to get. I hope so anyway. All right, next. I wanted to make, this is a gratitude journal. So I just wanted to make kind of a little collage, maybe something like this, I don't know, to come down here in the corner. Kind of the title, it says gratitude. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these together and then I kind of wanted to stick a eyelet in there with a little charm or something. So we'll see. We'll see where we get. Let's see. Maybe right about there. And keep coming over this way maybe. I don't know, whatever works, but it looks like it's going to be down in this corner, so I'll just glue it really good right down in there. Yeah, I like that. All right, right there. And now, for the handy dandy crocodile. And I want to get this through as many layers as possible just because it's going to be holding a charm. So I think I want to come maybe up in here. So I'm getting through the cardstock layer and my little paper layer. And go ahead and punch. And let's see, my charm is probably going to be a bronzy color because I wanted to match the photo corner. So we'll put that little eyelid in. And go ahead and squish that down. Awesome. Okay, that looks good. Now, I need it to be high enough that when I put in my charm, I wanted to do a key. Because I thought the key to kind of being happy is to be grateful. So, I, I'm always looking for little goofy things like that in my journals. Do you guys do that? Anyway, so I wanted to kind of tie that in. This is the key. So 
I'm hoping this little charm will fit clear up here. Oh, that'll be perfect. I did it on a bulb pin. I'll show you as soon as I get this to latch. All right, so a little bulb pin. And then I did the jump ring right here. And then the little charm will hang down in front. So that'll be cute. All right, but I don't want it to go past the bottom of the journal, so I'm gonna have to come up here. But before I put that down, I, it needs something else. So I'm gonna do some lace. This is just some coffee dyed lace that I had. And I just love, I love using the lace to dye with and then you can, it's coffee stained and you can get some really cool prints with it too. So I just love to make it look old. All right, I don't think there's a front or the back to this lace. So I'm just going to plop it down. I'm going to get a little more on this end. There we go. And this will dry clear. So it's okay if you, it's overflowing just a little bit. Alright, that looks good. Alright, that's coming nice. I like it. Alright. Now we're gonna put this little piece on here. Make sure the key's not hanging too low. We'll need to come up a little more. And see if we like that. Yeah, I think that'll be good right there. Okay, I'm gonna use my heavy duty glue. Lots and lots of it. Cause it's holding the weight of that charm. There we go. That will never come off, ever, ever. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna squish that down. Anyway, so that's just kind of how I do my covers. I just play around till I get it looking how I like it. And then I just go ahead and attach it on. It's easy. It's relaxing. I love to do it. Um, and it also means you're almost done with another journal. So, And I'm excited to fill this one up. I'm excited to... With all the craziness going on in the world, it's kind of nice to take that step back and say, Hey, you know what? There's a lot of good in the world, too. So... And I don't know if you noticed, but <laughs> once again, and this isn't even quite done. I'm going to give you a flip through when it's done, but it's already <laughs> overflowing with goodness. So I'm just going to use a piece of lace for the tie on this one. Just simple. Keep it simple, nothing too fancy, and then however you want to do it up, but... Sometimes I just like to have an easy tie just like that. So that'll be really cool. And I am excited. I'm excited to finish this up and show you guys the inside. And anyway, hopefully you've got some fun things in the works and you're having fun. And I hope everybody's staying safe and having fun creating. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.